Welcome back to Riverbank Railways. So no scenery this month. I got inspired at the start of the month and took the plunge and started cutting baseboards and getting all the woodwork done for the new layout. Um, nice few nights in here doing a lot of sawing and chopping away. It's all mocked up at the moment. So the first stage is just to get everything in place, see how it's going to work. Nothing is fixed down, but it is all cut roughly to the right shape. And all the track is laid out and uh, just to get it in place before I start cutting and fixing and, and screwing things into the wall. I just want to make sure it all works. Uh, so let's start off uh, underneath here, the main fit yard. Uh, lots of tracks and I think 15 lanes maybe, 15 sidings. Longest one's about four meters long, so plenty of space. Um, the supports are for the station over it and they are taking up track space at the moment. So I'm trying to figure out a way of supporting everything without taking up track space and supports. And what I came up with was steel rebar, like this. So I can cut it to shape, or to length actually, and fix it to the wall underneath to come straight out, and then fix it to the outside of the baseboard, and that will support, it's strong enough to support the whole thing, maybe three or four lengths along here, and it'll remove the need for the pillars in the middle, and that means that the tracks won't be disrupted. So that's the fiddle yard. Up above then, the main station area, Again, plenty of space. The longest platform space will take easily take nine or 10 coaches with space to spare, but they're all about three meters long, three and a half meters long. And you can see an example there, that's a nine coach prototypical train. Um, I've decided the layout will be set around 2003 because there was a lot of change in Ireland in 2003, new locos coming in and um, lots of works and modernization and concrete sleepers and all that kind of stuff was going on at the time as well. Main station area here, six platforms coming into the station throat. Some nice complex point work, which I like. I like complex points and double slips. Um, down into, this will be the depot area just here, these few sidings. Some depot sheds here and a new, I was thinking I'm gonna do a new depot shed here. There was a lot of rebuilding, as I said. And then this will be the old turntable, which were still in use for some of the locos. Uh, the one-to-ones which needed to be reversed. And I might put some old sidings, uh, old track work coming out to the old steam engine chaise and stuff here, replaced by the new modern stuff. Um, so that's just an idea. Um, and this here, this would be a relief line going to the station uh, without getting in the way of the main lines coming out here. So engines can uh, decouple and make it into the depot without holding up the whole main line. Um, main line, there's a branch off it that starts going down to the lower level. You can see it down there. And that leads us to this interchange. So that's where all the changing of levels occurs. So you can see if we go down here, you have some coming down from the low, from the upper into the station and the upper into the lower level. And then from the station down to the lower level is this one here. And then there's also around the back, there's one coming from the upper level all the way down along to the lower level all the way down along there. Um, it's about seven meters long. I'm aiming for a 2% grade might go two and a half, depending on how it works. Um, the upper level then swings around all the way along the back. You can see where they're starting to come down there. And the upper level obviously goes all the way around the outside. Not sure, will I cover some of this at the back? to be a station there. I was thinking maybe a motorway or something on top of it to hide it, or I might just do a wall and leave it open uh, in front of the back scene. Get some sort of cityscape or something going on there. Station, the main terminus station will be up there, raised up and then some car parking space and roads leaving across the scenery covering these main, uh, these loops are literally just to reverse the trains. Again, common to have a sharp curve coming out of some Irish stations. Um, so we'll cover some of that with scenery and a road down into a car park. This will be here a branch line station or like a, not a main station, just a town station along here. Again, nice platform length leading into tunnels. Uh, again, common in Ireland, station tunnels at the end. And then down here, I'm not sure, this might be a loading area or it might be a multiple unit storage area uh, with some maintenance sheds and office space around here linking up to the roads. Um, this down here, this upper level, I'm going to put some sort of viaduct or bridge, something impressive going around the corner there where the scenery will drop away and come back up. Um, I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, and then across the back, and again, the scenery behind there. You can see now why I need the access and why I cut that off so that I can reach all the areas of this and the same down at that side. 
and then that corner there is fine <clears throat> and then this corner here is there is no gap here or sorry there's no cut across here so i'm able to reach in at the far side this is the tricky bit so this the plan is that that will swing but i'm still not sure about it everything would have to line up perfectly on both sides and while i've been mocking it up i've had to climb in and out underneath and it is doable this cross beam here makes it a bit tricky um nice bit of athletics and stuff to get underneath it um, so I'm, I'll see, I might fix that in place, take out the crossbeam and just leave it fixed and just commit myself to kneeling down and going underneath and uh, getting in and out the door. I'm 43, so I'm young enough that that's not a major issue, um, at least for the next 10 years, hopefully. <laughs> and by the time I get to there, sure, we'll probably have a different one. So um, that's it. I'll keep it nice and short. The next thing to do is to start fixing the track in place, um, actually fixing it down, outlining it. Uh, again, the plan is to cut away the baseboard that I don't need um, but uh, so that I can go lower and, and do scenery in that way and keep it more open plan. But again, I'll see how it goes and um, play it by ear. I'm pretty happy so far. There is 170 meters of flex track. Uh, that's what I bought. And there's about 70, 75 points to wire up. So lots of work ahead of me, even just to get stuff running. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I do love, I've always, always wanted to have a big long station platform like that uh, and i think it's going to be pretty cool might be five years away but we'll see so hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and see you next month